Hello and welcome to our video on induction stove versus electric stove. If you are in the market for a new stove or just curious about the differences between induction and electric, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll go over the key differences between the two types of stoves and help you determine which is right for you. Let's get started. How Induction Stoves Work Induction stoves use electromagnetic energy to directly heat the cookware. The energy is created by a coil of copper wire underneath the cooking surface that creates an alternating magnetic field. When a magnetic material like iron is placed on the surface, the field induces electrical currents, generating heat in the cookware. The stove itself doesn't get hot, just the cookware. How Electric Stoves Work Electric stoves, on the other hand, use electric resistance to heat the cooking surface. The stove is plugged into an electrical outlet, and when the burner is turned on, the electric current flows through a heating element, which generates heat that is transferred to the cookware. Energy Efficiency When it comes to energy efficiency, induction stoves are the clear winner. They are up to 90% efficient because they transfer heat directly to the cookware, while electric stoves only have an efficiency rating of around 70%. This means that induction stoves use less energy and can save you money on your electricity bill in the long run. Cooking speed. Induction stoves also have the advantage when it comes to cooking speed because the heat is transferred directly to the cookware. The cookware heats up much faster, reducing the amount of time it takes to bring water to a boil or to heat up a pan. Electric stoves, on the other hand, can take longer to heat up and may not be as responsive to changes in temperature. Safety. When it comes to safety, induction stoves have the upper hand because the stove itself doesn't get hot. There's less risk of burns or fires. This is especially important if you have young children in your home. Electric stoves, on the other hand, can get very hot and the heating elements can stay hot for some time after they have been turned off. Cookware compatibility. One potential downside of induction stoves is that they only work with cookware that is magnetic, such as cast iron or stainless steel. If you have a lot of non-magnetic cookware, you may need to purchase new pots and pans. Electric stoves, on the other hand, work with any type of cookware, making them a more versatile option. Noise Induction stoves be noisier than electric stoves. The alternating magnetic field can produce a buzzing or humming sound, especially at high power levels. However, some models are designed to reduce the noise level, so be sure to look for one that is quiet if this is a concern for you. Price when it comes to price, induction stoves are generally more expensive than electric stoves. The technology used in induction stoves is more advanced, which drives up the cost. However, the energy efficiency and cooking speed of induction stoves can offset this cost over time. Cleaning and maintenance. Both induction and electric stoves are relatively easy to clean and maintain. With induction stoves, the cooktop doesn't get hot, so spills and splatters are less likely to burn onto the surface. Electric stoves can be a bit more difficult to clean because the heating elements can trap food and spills. So which is better, an induction stove or an electric stove? The answer, as with most things, depends on your personal preferences and needs. If you're looking for a stove that is energy efficient, fast and safe, an induction stove might be the right choice for you. However, if you have a lot of non-magnetic cookware or if you're on a tight budget, an electric stove might be a better option. Thank you for watching our video on induction stove versus electric stove. We hope you found it helpful in making your decision. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one.